Hello crypto investors, my name is Dayhan and welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're going to be looking at four altcoins that are currently on the rise or are about to start, you know, rising. As we've seen, Bitcoin has been soaring for the past few months. It's trading at around $61,000 per coin and all these other coins are following. Like we always talk about, you know, usually the large cap coins go first, then the mid, uh, mid cap and then the small cap coins continue to follow. Now we've seen in the past week, Dogecoin and a bunch of other different coins started to you know rally on higher dogecoin even reached highs of close to half a dollar it was almost at about a half a dollar yesterday and then obviously we saw a sl you know big pullback where it lost about 50 percent of those gains um, in the past 24 hours so today we're going to be talking about four altcoins that have potential for the next few months going throughout 2021 and the future as well so let's dive on in and check them on out guys and if you guys are interested in signing up for eToro you guys can join and get $50 when you start trading also if you guys want to start trading on Webull there's going to be a link in the description for Webull as well get your two free stocks valued up to $1,800 when you sign up today now let's get into this countdown so the first altcoin on our list is going to be VeChain. So V-E-T is the ticker symbol for it. And if we take a look at this one, it's currently trading at around 23 cents. It was up about 36.5% in the past 24 hours, hitting highs here of about 27, almost 28 cents or so, as we can see. Now in the past week, it's up about 83% in the past month, 212% in the past year, over 6,000%. So it's been on a massive run in the past few months, which is a good thing. So what is VeChain and what do they do? Well, let's take a dive and check them on out. So what is VeChain? So VeChain is a software that seeks to incentivize a network of computers to operate a platform, allowing businesses to build and run decentralized applications. Now, in this way, VeChain's goal is to enable better digital collaboration between businesses by giving them new tools for efficient data transfer and supply chain management. Now, originally a solution for you know supply chain management alone, the VeChain protocol rebranded the VeChain Thor with the launch of the protocol's main net in 2018. Now, increasing the scope of dApps to include more general data solutions. Now, corporations that have started using VeChain blockchain all, you know, include already BMW, uh, LVMH, and Walmart as well. So Walmart uses this for tracking the food. Um, you know, BMW for to prevent the odometer fraud in automobile sales and the LMVH, they use it for, you know, track luxury leather goods. Now, you know, central to running the operations on its blockchain, VeChain boosts two native uh, cryptocurrencies, VetCoin for voting on changes uh, to the protocol and VThor for uh, executing transactions. Now, users seeking to stay connected to the current development status of VeChain, along with the companies that are, you know, integrating its blockchain can follow its official blog up to date for up to date details. And then last but not least, how does VeChain actually work? Well, VeChain aims to give any company the ability to launch new kinds of dApps. In order to facilitate the creation of dApps, the VeChain teams builds a component called the VeChain Toolchain, a software development kit. So that is what they do. So this one, I, I believe, you know, in the future, more and more companies will potentially start to use VeChain. And I think that is definitely going to help this company grow. Now, as of recording this video today, the market cap currently for VeChain is 15 billion with volume in the past 24 hours at around 7 billion. And the current circul circulating supply is around 64.3 billion uh, VeChain coins. So this one, I think, has a you know great future ahead of it. Um, you know, I, I think it's going to continue to go on higher, especially as Bitcoin continues to rise. I, obviously, everybody has huge you know price predictions for Bitcoins, and as the large coin, you know, large cap coins continue to rise, these mid cap and small cap coins are going to continue to follow the trend right after on the you know hype train, I guess you could say. So definitely want to add to your list to see what could possibly happen in the near future. Now, as always, guys, if you made it this far into the video, go ahead and smash that like button for me. It's you know showed us some support on the channel it helps the youtube algorithm let's aim for 100 plus likes in the first 24 hours of this video being up leave a comment below what you know what cryptocurrencies are you buying right now or any of these cryptos on your radar as well and let's just chat in the comments below let me know what uh you know cryptocurrency you want to see in the next video as well and like i said etoro link in the description as well as weeble if you want to sign up today and get your 50 dollars with etoro or your two free stocks valued up to 1800 dollars on weeble now let's get into the number two cryptocurrency so this one is going to be cardano so cardano ticker is going to be ada so this one is a very very popular one um, a lot of people have been talking about this one lately so let's take a quick look at the price before we get into the dives so this one is trading at around one dollar and 41 cents right now in the past 24 hours this one's only up about two percent now in the past week it's up about 17 and a half percent so the rally hasn't been you know starting up with this one yet like it has with dogecoin or ethereum classic and some of these other you know um you know small cap coins or mid cap coins as well so you know in the past month it's actually only up about 13 percent once again 
and then in the past year over four thousand percent so we had this huge rally you know since uh, the november time period and then it's been kind of tra trading sideways for the past two or three months or so so this one right here market cap of 45.2 billion volume around 5 billion in the past 24 hours and the circulating supply is at around 31.9 billion of the coin now, if we take a look here, you know, this is what Cardano wants to do. This is their website on Cardano. So making the world will work better for all. Cardano is a blockchain platform for change makers, innovators, and visionaries with the tools and technologies required to create possibility for the many as well as the few and bring about positive global changes. So what is, uh, you know, Cardano? So similar to the other cryptocurrencies, ADA Cardano is a digital coin that can be used to store value or send and receive funds. The ADA cryptocurrency runs on the Cardano blockchain, a first-of-its-kind decentralized network based completely on scientific and mathematical principles and designed by experts in the, in the field of cryptography and engineering. The Cardano blockchain can be used to build small smart contracts and in turn create decentralized applications and protocols. Additionally, the ability to send and receive funds instantly through for minimal fees have many applicants in the world of business and finance. Instead of attempting to thwart the global regulators, Cardano is building a blockchain with regulation in mind to provide financial services to all. Now, Cardano looks to solve many of the blockchain industry's current problems, which include the use of mathematics to provide a pro provable, secure blockchain that is less prone to attacks. Second, separation of accounting and computational layers. Third, creation of a secure voting mechanism for token holders. And last but not least, a consecutive mechanism that is uh, infinitely scalable. Now, this is the process right here. So the network randomly selects a few nodes to have the opportunity for mining new blocks. These nodes are known as slot leaders. And as you can see right there, now the blockchain is split into slots, each of which uh, is called an epoch. So that's what it would look like. And then the slots leaders have the ability to mine their specific epoch or subpartion of an epoch. And uh, any participant who helped mine as epoch or part of the epoch receives a reward for their service. So you get a little bit of it. And epoch can be partitioned in infinitely. This means that, you know, the Cardano blockchain is, in theory, infinitely scalable, making it possible to run as many transactions as needed without hitting a bottleneck. Now, you might be asking, what are some of the, you know, uses for Cardano? Well, the Cardano coin can be used to as a transfer of value in a similar way that cash is currently used. This is not much different from other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and Bitcoin but ADA has other uses as well. One of the core principles of Cardano is the POS blockchain uh, protocol where ADA is staked uh, to the blockchain to help stake pool operators successfully verify uh, transactions on the blockchain. This is where the Cardano crypto comes in hand. Um, you know, those who stake their ADA to the blockchain are rewarded for their efforts with more Cardano crypto in return. Their staking, uh, the staking system has helped maintain security throughout the blockchain. There's also the use of ADA in voting. In Cardano, unlike other blockchain projects, it is not miners that vote and decide on the change to the protocol. It is actually the token holders, which is a huge deal, actually, because, you know, now it's decided by the you know token holders instead of the people that are mining it, which can kind of benefit people. So, therefore, when a new change or development is proposed to the Cardano blockchain, Cardano crypto holders use their ADA to vote on these uh, proposals. This way, everyone who owns cryptocurrency has a say in its development and not just the miners. So in the future, ADA will also be used to power the smart contract platform on the Cardano blockchain. Developers will utilize ADA to create smart contracts and applications that run on the secure, decentralized Cardano blockchain. Without a native Cardano coin, there would be no way to execute these contracts. So this is a huge deal for the future with Cardano. And, you know, it could be another big coin that might explode in the years to come. So definitely one that I would personally look at. And this one actually can be traded on eToro, actually. So if you use that link and get your $50 when you sign up, you can trade Cardano on it as well as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some of the other smaller coins. But some of these, you know, more rarer coins, you cannot trade on eToro, obviously. Coming in at the number three spot for the altcoin is going to be a big one. So obviously Bitcoin is the big one, and then we have all these altcoins. And the next big one is actually Ethereum. So we've talked about Ethereum in the past. This is a massive, massive coin. I think that, it, you know, in the long term, it might actually be better than Bitcoin. That is just my personal opinion. Don't hate me. Don't, you know, troll me in the comments. Don't destroy my life. But I think Ethereum is going to be massive, and it has a lot more upside potential compared to Bitcoin right now. So I think that Ethereum could potentially, you know, 
5x or even more in the next few years compared to what you know bitcoin is going to do in my opinion now obviously some people have you know high valuations for bitcoin so you know you never know but ethereum in my opinion is very interesting so this one's trading at around two thousand four hundred thirteen dollars right now in the past you know 24 hours it's up about two and a half percent in the past week 16 and a half percent in the past month 33 percent and then in the past year over 1300 percent obviously all time 86,000 percent massive massive gains right there market cap for ethereum is around 278.7 billion so if it did you know if it went to about uh let's say about 10,000 per coin it would be a market cap of 1 trillion so that is actually my price target for ethereum in the future um volume is around 32 billion coins traded and circulating supply is around 115.5 million um you know eth so ethereum coins so massive uh, supply right there now obviously with bitcoin there's going to be a limited uh, amount of bitcoin ever mined so that is the big difference now let's take a look actually and see what ethereum does and what you know how they're different from bitcoin so how does ethereum work like all cryptocurrencies ethereum works on the basis of a blockchain network a blockchain is a decentralized distributed public ledger where all transactions are verified and recorded it's distributed in the sense that everyone participating in the ethereum network holds an identical copy of this ledger letting them see all past transactions which is a good thing we have transparency which i like so it's decentralized in that the network isn't operated or managed by any centralized entity instead it's managed by all of the distributed uh, ledger holders now blockchain transactions use cryptography to keep the network secure and verify transactions people use computers to mine or solve complex mathematical equations that confirm each transaction on the network and add new blocks to the blockchain that is the heart of the system now participants are rewarded with the cryptocurrency tokens for the ethereum system these tokens are called ether eth now ether can be used to you know buy and sell goods and services like bitcoin it's also seen rapid gains in the you know uh, price of uh, recent years now a lot of people use ethereum in order to buy different coins in order to buy other products which is another reason why i personally think ethereum is going to be a big coin in the future because i know a lot of people in the um, nft world use ethereum in order to buy those nfts and different you know things that they can buy goods and services i guess you could say so it's also been a you know rapid gain like we said in the past years making it a de facto uh, speculative investment but what's unique about ethereum is that users can build applications that run on the blockchain like software Software, runs on a computer these applications can store and transfer personal data or handle complex uh, financial transactions ethereum is different from bitcoin in that the network can perform computations as part of the mining process as can form from now director of education and development at the enterprise ethereum alliance this uh, uh, basic computational co capability turns a store of value and medium of exchange into a decentralized global computing engine and openly verified data store. Right now, there's a lot of Ethereum miners. A lot of people are mining actually Ethereum and I'm actually one of them. I am actually dabbling into the Ethereum mining space right now. I am, you know, communicating with one of my close friends right now and we are very excited to start crypto mining and we plan on crypto mining throughout 2021 to see how much profit we can make throughout the year and with ethereum prices obviously continuing to rise i think our profits are going to you know go through the roof and, and i think it's going to be a very very fun thing to see so you guys will see that type of content on this channel as well uh, if you guys are interested in that so you will see me do some crypto mining and some rig building as well so right here here are some benefits of ethereum so large existing what network wide range of functions and then constant innovation avo avoids intermediaries and then if you take a look here at the disadvantages rising transaction costs uh potential for crypto inflation steep learning curve for developers and unknown future so if you guys want to read more on this you can check out the website right here to see what else it does you know because there's a lot to read and you know you don't want me reading everything word for word so if you guys want to research some more you can come on the website and see and actually see some more things like you know ethereum versus bitcoin right here uh you know bitcoin's primary use is a virtual currency and store value ether also works as a virtual currency and store value but the decentralized ethereum network makes it possible to create and run applications smart contracts and other transactions on the network Network. Bitcoin doesn't offer these functions. It's only used as a currency and a store of value. So Ethereum also processes transactions more quickly. New blocks are validated on the Bitcoin network once every 10 minutes, while new blocks are validated on the Ethereum network once every 12 seconds, says Gary D. Wall. Uh, so that is a huge difference and you know future developments could speed up ethereum's transaction even more so last there is no limit on the number of potential ether tokens while bitcoin will release no more than 21 million tokens this is something we talked about 
you know, earlier and in yesterday's video as well. If you guys uh, saw my video yesterday, we talked about that Bitcoin is only going to have 21 million Bitcoin. Once we reach that cap, there's no more Bitcoin. So a lot of people are saying that is the reason why Bitcoin is going to be soaring to half a million per coin because of the supply and demand. And then, you know, obviously Ethereum doesn't have that, um, you know, cap, I guess you could say. So it can continue to mine more and more. And people are saying that it, it will be, you know, inflation is going to be a big issue but i guess we'll have to wait and see to see what actually happens who is correct and who is not i think ethereum will be around ten thousand dollars a coin in the future obviously but i'm not a financial advisor so this is just my opinion guys and last but not least we're going to go over dogecoin one more time so this is the number four altcoin uh we're just actually going to do a quick review because we talked about it in yesterday's video so i don't want to repeat the same information if you guys haven't watched that video just go ahead and check out that video it's yesterday's video on the three altcoins we talked about so i'm just going to go ahead and talk about the pricing right now just to keep you guys up to date with what's going on with dogecoin obviously dogecoin is the meme coin so really the value there is no real value with dogecoin it's just a hype coin in my opinion obviously we have elon musk and other you know influence influencers that talk about it which kind of you know boost the price up now if you guys know elon musk did you know i believe he shared a photo or something like that and i had uh, the dogecoin meme uh, on the moon and that's you know why the the, the recent price uh, surge has happened or that's what some people are predicting and you know saying that's why it's rising but if we take a look i mean down here it was trading very very cheap so in the past week it's up over 369 percent and i mean yesterday at highs like we said it was trading at close to 50 cents almost so it was up even more you know in the past month 400 percent or so but this one is just booming right now but now we see this slight pullback so we'll have to keep a close eye on it to see what happens throughout the rest of this weekend is it going to continue to go down will it break down past this 26 cents area and go lower if it does we might just see it continue to go lower and lower but if we can see some consolidating right here and then a trend on higher that'll be a good sign so market cap for dogecoin is 37.4 billion volume in the last 24 hours is around 48.6 billion coins traded and then the circulation uh, supply is 129.2 billion dogecoin so obviously you know th this one has been hyped around i mean e even your average joe has been talking about this coin uh if you go to work or anywhere pretty much everybody's saying oh do you own any dogecoin you know dogecoin to the moon and a lot of people are not taking it serious because they're not profit taking so when the coin was close to i believe 47 cents almost 50 cents people should have been profit taking if it was life-changing money if that money was changing your life or you know more than what you uh, have saved in your bank or something like that you should have taken some profits even if you sold only 50 percent of your holdings at least you would have had some profits locked in and then obviously as we saw this what 40 50 percent pull back down you know you could have bought more on the dip and you know wrote it back up if that's how much you believe in dogecoin but if you didn't sell at the top and you're just holding 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 you know you, you could have made more gains if you would have day traded it i guess you could say so but i guess if you're a long-term holder and you believe that dogecoin is going to go to a dollar then i'm wrong and you're right you know you're going to make massive gains but we'll have to see about that i'm not you know too sure that it's going to happen but with all the hype that we saw around gamestop and all these other reddit uh, memes and now dogecoin it's all possible dogecoin could potentially potentially reach one dollar per coin in the future we'll have to wait and see right guys so so those were the four altcoins guys in this in today's video if you guys enjoyed share this video with your friends you know share it on your facebook's whatever you want to share it on um you know smash that like button for me let's aim for 100 plus likes on this video subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time i make a new video leave a comment below what cryptocurrency are you buying right now and what cryptocurrencies should i cover in the next video let's discuss i'll reply to every single comment that is commented below if you guys want to sign up for eToro and get your $50, sign up with the link in the description. It will also be in the top comment on this video as well. And also, if you want to sign up for Weibo, get your two free stocks valued up to $1,800. Links are going to be in the description and the top comment for that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, and enjoy your weekend.